Michigan, the Virgin Islands over there. And it's a family outing. It's actually a birthday. So uh, that little guy's birthday there. Yeah, we got a we got a chewing a pig, a roasted pig here. So anyway, we're just leaving uh, where the boats are. They're in Italian Island. Water's beautiful today. Sun's out. Over there we got the uh, seaweed farms. That's all those little white uh, floats. That's the seaweed farm there. I'll be back with more from my paradise on Battalion Island. Bye for now. All right, we're coming up on Virgin Island now, and I don't know if you can see over there, there's some kind of little bamboo thing. And I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And then also at the tip of the island, you can see a little uh, bamboo thing down there too. Some kind of little beach, uh, who knows what. But this is uh, Virgin Island here. It's it's all tourist stuff. There's nothing. Yeah, nobody lives here. The, there's a one person owns it. It's actually a relative of the guy that owns the uh, hardware store. Uh, his family uh, uncle or something, or actually his father's brother or uncle owns it. Somebody like that. And then also uh, our friend in Cebu, the wife. Her family is part of this family that owns Virgin Island too. So, uh, and uh, Madre Dios, end of the uh, island, uh, that's where the family uh, that owns this island uh, lives. But you can see we're getting a little closer. And again, it's all set up for tourists, so I've been told it's, you know, pretty nice, you know, pretty decent. Uh, there's an entry fee you have to pay per person. I don't know how much it is. Uh, maybe 300 pesos, like six bucks or something per person. I don't know, something like that. So anyway, we'll be back in just a second. Well, we're actually almost going to land. Maybe I'll just let it run. There's a boat leaving, but you can see all the boats that came here. It was a little bit rainy this morning, cloudy overcast, but it looks like it's starting to clear up and be partly cloudy, or mostly cloudy, which would be great. The water here is a real pretty blue. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's really nice, beautiful blue water here. So they've got a lot, a lot of infrastructure here, a lot more than I thought. A whole lot more. But over the years, they just build more and more and more as, you know, and it, like I said, it's a very popular tourist destination. Everybody that goes island hopping pretty much will come here. Look at the water there. Beautiful. So anyway, we're going to land and I'm going to have to get it out. So as soon as we uh, get shore here, we will uh, we'll be back with more. But my paradise on Bentayan Island. They got the native drums playing over over there. I don't know if you can can hear them. We just landed. Here we go. All right. Well, we'll be back. Bye for now. All right. It's getting pretty loud here. The kids are all not my kids, but kids, and people, and adults. They're all out here swimming. The boats are running into each other over there, dragging their little uh, outriggers. They look like rookies. I don't know, they got something stuck in the ground there. That's a that's an anchor. They threw an anchor out. Yeah. I mean, they're bumping in the, the yellow boats are bumping into each other. But over there, see under that thing and under those little bamboo squares? I don't know if I'm pointing the right place because I can't see my screen, it's too bright. Uh, underneath there, there's a uh, uh, fish, you know, pear fish. And, and even over by this a little uh, covered uh, island thing there, there's some uh, fish. So, anyway, that's kind of like a swimming area, that uh, one with the little buoys and stuff all marked off. Oh, he's actually towing this yellow boat here. I guess his motor gave out or something, so they're going in, in tow. Uh, you can see the water's beautiful here. I can't video back at my... Uh, 
table and uh, area there because they're playing music, copyright, you know, YouTube. You know how that they are. But anyway, as you can see, jam packed, beautiful beast. There's a lifeguard. See right there? Anyway, those guys are heading out there. They're going to uh, just spun the boat around and just pushing out, getting be above, uh, out beyond where these little rock or coral heads are. So they don't get down. Normally that's what they'll do. They'll take that bamboo pole and push themselves beyond where the you know shallower water is where they might hit a coral head or something and before they uh, you know go uh, underway with their uh, boat engine power. Got like a little miniature surfboard there, like a little uh, bodyboard or something. Looks like a real surfboard. It's got like a little little pad where you would stand up on the back. So these will hold about 10, 12 passengers. That boat like that. It, it's really short. The one we are in is longer than this, so maybe this will only hold about maybe 10 you know 8 to 10 is a good load on that one this is a little bit bigger here it'll do uh, maybe 12 notice the uh, hydrodynamic uh, plastic bottle in the end of the bamboo there get a couple miles per hour or a couple knots per hour out of that uh, being so hydrodynamic <laughs> Joke course, folks. Here's another one. Getting all their life vests set up. Should kind of go diving over here on this side here. See what they got around here. Just a lot of rock cliffs and stuff. I don't know if it's real shallow or what. The fish seem to hang out in about the 10 to 12 to 15 feet depth You're getting shallower or shallower than maybe six feet they don't seem to be too much fish at all and then uh, once you get a little deeper well actually I'm not getting deeper here because there's a uh, like the bottom of the ocean from the beach it goes down and then it goes back up and there's like a like a you know like a, a tall type ring reef around the island and then you have to go over that to get us to uh, deeper water so anyway just showing you all the boats around here and uh, everybody's doing their photo shoots <laughs> for Facebook of course Facebook is an addiction here and well probably wherever anybody else is in the world so we're on the back side of the Virgin Island sign there I'll point us out here that island over there that's not very far at all that's uh, Gila took on I really didn't realize we were that cl close to it but it's just a stone's throw away and that's of course Bentayan Island and then if you can see an island in the back way back there with mountains that's Cebu Island so I guess I'm going to head on back to uh, our place where we have it made in the shade under a Talisai tree I have no idea what that means but I think that tells them about getting in and getting out because I see 15 minutes oh, pump, pump boats that you can't just park here but obviously people do park here because all of those boats out there are just parked they're not dropping off passengers and here I've been right back the weather's not that bad if you're standing in, in the sun it's hot but uh, otherwise it's pretty nice so anyway that will be it for now from my paradise on the Italian island. Bye for now.